Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotec Solutions team. I am Sanchez. We are learning Backbone Chess tutorial from scratch and this is 22nd of this video session series in which we are going to discuss about parameterized routing in Backbone Chess. So guys, if you haven't watched our previous video session before making continuation with this then please go to bar and watch about part 21 of this video session series because where we had discussed about routing backbone chase. So this is something called continuation of our previous video. Okay. So just back to our code editor. Here is the code v22.html and this is js file which we have created link to this file okay and this is browser where we are running v22.html so in this video session we will discuss about parameterized routing parameterized routing guys means passing parameters to this url means if you click on this then simply we will see view 2 is running okay so just change it to view 3 then you can see that view 3 is running but when we pass parameter to that something like that id 20 something 19 100 so this is called parameterized routing when we pass the parameter to this view means view 3 contains the parameter this is called parameter okay parameter is not in int format something called it in the string format like sanjay so these all the other parameters so how we keep track of those parameters if we pass to our view so in this video session we will learn that how can we access to those parameters from the url okay so just back to our editor what we have did so far to this file we have created three different views as you could see view 1 view 2 and view 3 we have created a route section as you can see by getting view 2 view 3 parameter from the url we have will redirect it to this function so view 2 and view 3 okay and also we have made an object of that and we have made an history to keep track of our url these all codes we did in our previous video session okay so now what will happen when we pass the parameter to view 2 okay so to pass the parameter to view 2 just you need to write forward slash like view id so this is the id that we are going to pass into the view 2 section so just go to view 2 and here you need to write something called 200 or 20 so this is the parameter we are passing by the help of this parameter okay and now all we need to do to keep track of this passed id into the url you need to actually calculate within this function okay so view 2 and just you need to pass the id here what we have actually passed here okay so this is the value we need to pass into this function and to get the value from the url just you need to console log so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page once you refresh just change to view 2 and something like 100 is the parameter that we have passed just click on control I can see that 100 value has passed in the URL okay something called 19 we have changed value to our parameter as 19 okay so these all parameter guys that we can access from the URL that we are passing to this view so let's understand that once more how can we retrieve the value which will pass into the parameterized into the url section okay so we have to make a parameter here by making for slash and the column symbol and here is the id that we are passing all you need to make control over this id you need to pass this id to your function in which you are calling okay by getting this id you need to operate into this function and what we you actually want to do with this id you can actually do into this function okay so this is how actually we are passing a parameter so just if you want to pass here something like view 3 id sorry view 3 id okay so we also passed id into the view 3 section okay so just we keep track to this id we need to pass into so view 3 event so just pass parameter here and all we need to print the value of that like Past param 
and view 3 ID okay so this is the parameter that we have retrieved from the URL and here is we have printed into the console for now so just refresh this page once you refresh let's say view 3 and this is the parameter like 35 we have passed just click on that as you could see pass param is 35 so in simple way guys we have made simple programming to understand about the parameterized routing so you can use about your need to this event if you want to pass into a model collection whatever you want to operate in this parameter you could do into this function by getting view 3 id from the url so what will happen in that case when we don't pass pass 35 to the url just refresh this page you can see nothing will appear into the view section as well as into the control section and if you pass the parameter into 35 then view 3 is running also we get the parameter from the url so this is the exception guys on error when we don't pass any value to our url so how can we actually handle that type of error that if we don't supply any parameter into the url then also our view 3 is, run is in running state okay so to keep track just make it as an optional means if you want to make an optional parameter if you suppose pass or don't pass to keep track of the id so just wrap this id into the parenthesis parenthesis tells that it's an optional parameter that we are going to pass into the view track section okay suppose now just refresh this page once you refresh you could see that view 3 is still running and pass parameter is null because we haven't passed any parameter to this url um, if suppose we pass like 47 just click on enter you could see pass param is 47 okay just remove this you could see null parameter and still our view is running so this is the use of optional parameter okay and now what will happen if we pass an another parameter into this url something like message okay means we have passed two different parameters to this so view 3 or view 3 routing okay something like that means we have passed 129 slash sanjay so just click on refresh you could see that we have tracked actually 129 value from the url but where is the value of this second parameter so to keep track of this value we need to make in the routing section to make our function to understand the second parameter that we have passed okay so just copy this parameter and paste into the parameter section of here so just copy this and here is the message and message okay so just go to browser and refresh this page you could see that pass param is 129 as matching something like that okay so if you want to make suppose if you don't pass this parameter then just click on refresh click once more let's get rid of this value okay you could see that our view stopped working and also we don't get any value to the console so we have to make our the second parameter is an option for that okay so to make optional just wrap this second parameter into the optional like in parenthesis okay so if we pass the value of message then we get the value into the view as well as into the console like uh, but if we don't pass any values like we have passed then still they are working okay and if you don't pass the value then still we will see that our view will work okay here our view will work so this is how guys it's a beneficial point to understand about the parameterized routing in backbone chase okay so let's make a simple route to this html something called like div id something i will nav here is ul Okay, it's view one. Good from that. 
here is li tag one more li okay and just we need to write with an anchor tag like view 2 and something called view 3 okay and just we need to pass into the href like has and it's view 2 and has and something called view 3 okay so these are the routing that we have made like view 2 and the view 3 okay so just back to our js file just remove all these parameters and save this file just get rid of this and refresh this page once we clicked still we are in view 1 okay just refresh this page once more just click on view 2 we will redirect it into the view 2 just click on view 3 we are in view 3 so these all the values guys we are redirecting from this routing section okay so this is the small applications that i have actually shown you that how could we actually make the anchor tag by linking your routing section okay so by the help of this concept you will make a simple website for a beginner in which we are you could actually attach two or three router links and redirect to the view okay so let's pass some values to this view so just pass id to that like 120 and here's something like one two three something value like sanjay so these are the parameters that we have passed okay parameter one parameter one and the parameter two so we need to handle all these like id and here is like id and message okay so we need to pass this into so view to like id and here is id and the message okay so all we need to write id id and the message okay so just save this file and refresh your browser just click on that view 2 still view 2 is running and we get the parameter 120 just click on view 3 view 3 is running and we get all the parameters that we have passed into the url section okay values 13 and messages check. so this is how we use parameterized routing in backbone.js application so this is a sm smart concept for a beginner to understand about the parameterized routing by the help of this concept guys you actually make your application more flexible to understand by the help of this routing okay by making your website routers by passing these parameters and all you need to handle these all pass routes to your under route section of backbone jazz router okay so guys i think i have made much more clear concept about routing in backbone JS. So if you have any query about this video session then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day